Hey everyone, in this video we'll create a car wheel. First, let's set up our environment. First I'll press the blue menu button, go to settings, under sketching aid, turn on world axes, and vertical lock. Next I'll go to workspace, and I already have the custom environment selected, with gradient turned on. Okay, let's navigate back to the center of the environment. Press the purple tools menu and select the revolve tool. The revolve tool works around an axis, and you can place this axis by holding in the pointer finger trigger on the left hand controller and moving it around. When you let go, the axis will be placed and you can start sketching. Now in this case, we wanna place the axis a little more precise and maybe lock it to X, Y, and Z. To do this, half hold the pointer finger trigger and rotate your controller so it's parallel to X, Y, and Z. You'll notice you're locked to X, Y, or Z when the revolve tool axis highlights in the same color. Once you're locked to the desired axis, start sketching out the wheel. Now the idea here is not to sketch the wheel perfect the first time, but to sketch something and then put it into edit mode and adjust it further. So let's grab the wheel, hold it, and press the blue menu button at the same time to put it into edit mode, and then start moving around these edit points. You can add more edit points by pointing with the right hand and trigger selecting, and you can delete edit points the same way we delete geometry. Grab the edit point, hold it, and press the red undo button at the same time. Okay, now that we have the rubber for the tire, I'll select a new color and start to draw the rim. Now I haven't moved the axes, so we can use the same axes we used for the tire. I'll do the same thing here, grab the rim, put it into edit mode, and then start deleting, adding, and moving around these points. Okay, quick tip on the revolve tool. If you happen to move the axes for any reason, you can realign it by highlighting the geometry, half holding the pointer finger trigger, and moving it towards the red arrows in the scene. This will realign things so you can continue sketching. Next thing we'll do is start adding the spokes using a feature called Polar Symmetry. Now this feature is available on the Ink Tool, Stroke Tool, and the Volume Tool. We'll use the Volume Tool here. If we double click the tool, we can go down to where it says Polar Symmetry and choose any number between 0 and 12. In this case, I'll use 6. And what this will do is allow us to take the Volume Tool and replicate it six times around the axes that we already have in the space. So now I can take this and ideate on some rim designs. You can also come back to that menu and adjust the number of spokes at any time. Now, just like with the rest of the rim, once I have that general shape, if I want to touch things up a bit, I'll grab it, put it into edit mode and start moving around those edit points. Okay, now that we have our tire, I'll expand the grab sphere by going up on the joystick, grab all the components, and change the color and material. Then I can grab everything again, hold it, and press the purple menu button at the same time to group everything together. Now we can use Smart Move by aligning our controllers and start moving this along an axis precisely. Now each time we press the pointer finger trigger, we'll duplicate the tire. When we make the first duplication, an auto array feature will turn on and we can duplicate the rest of the tires evenly spaced. Okay, so I'll make a quick wheelbase here and then expand the grab sphere, grab both of the tires and long hold the blue menu button. This will put both tires into edit mode and then I can turn on the mirror and space them out properly. Okay, and that's how you create a quick tire and wheelbase to start sketching over. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.